Hello, Hello my loves and welcome back to Studio Silly Luna. I am so excited today to be sharing this tutorial with you. It is a sexy burlesque chair dance tutorial. I'm giving you four of some of my favorite chair dance moves that you can practice on your own, put them into a combo and really like perform it for yourself or for someone else. Adding a chair or any type of prop to burlesque always gives it a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more pizzazz. So really have fun with it, just be playful. It's something that you can really practice on your own. Just put on a song, move to some music, and see what comes through. You'll have so much fun, and it's such a sexy element to introduce into your burlesque dancing, okay? So if you're ready, go ahead, grab a very stable chair, some heels, some water, and we will get started. All right, my love, so the first move that we are going to do is standing up behind your chair. So go ahead and have your chair in front of you. This is a step and cross move, and you're holding the chair like this. You're a little bit bent over. You have to if your chair is as short as mine, but if yours is taller, your hands will be up here. And you've got your hands planted firmly on the chair. Try not to put them too far back or your chair is going to lift, and that's a little bit dangerous. So make sure your hands are kind of right in the middle of the arms of the chair and you're pressing your weight down into the middle. Come into a bevel position with your feet, which just means my heels are together, my toes are apart, and I've got one knee bent in front of the other. I want you to pick that left leg up and cross the foot over the right leg, okay? And then I want you to pick the other foot up and cross. Pick it up, cross, up, cross, up, cross, up, and cross. This is our step and cross, okay? I'm gonna move my chair a little bit forward so I don't kick my wall. <laughs> but this move, it's kind of like you're coming for your audience. It's like you're a cat ready to pounce, and you're moving forward, 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 but you're really not going anywhere. And don't push your chair either, because that's not gonna look cute. You wanna make sure that you're stable, you're just crossing, lifting the foot, crossing, lifting the foot, and I'm swiveling every single time on that standing foot. So swivel, lift, step. Swivel, lift, step. And as you can see, my knees are squeezing together. So when I bring the leg up, there's no space in between my legs. It's not like here. It's really together. Cross, together, cross. And then you just swivel, swivel and swivel yes so that is our step and swivel let's do it together three times on each side so starting with the left foot five six seven and cross and cross good cross and cross again cross and cross good an amazing job, babe. So practice that move on your own. Put some music on and just start to swivel and play around with how much you can be slinky with this move, how much time you can take between lifting the leg and dropping the leg. Really take your time. Like I said, we're like a cat coming towards its prey. All right, my loves, our next move is sitting on the chair and it's our sit and split, okay? So once again, I'm gonna scoot my chair on so I make sure you can see me. But this is a classic move. It's very like flash dance vibes where you're dropping your head back and you're just like living. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing is I've got my hands planted firmly on the chair. My legs are gonna go out and I'm gonna take my head back. So this is the move, okay? So it's really like Yes, you hit it really quickly. I'll break it down for you though. So, I'm bringing my body to the edge of the chair. I'm sliding my legs out to a point. So the inside of my legs are rotated up and I'm pointing my toes. And then I lift my head back. I'm arching my spine. Yes, good. And you wanna get this to the point where you like hit it. You don't really want to ease into this move. You really want to hit it in like a sharp moment. I mean, I guess it would look okay if you eased into it, but I think it looks so good if you just cut, if you just hit it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let's try it together. Anytime you're sitting, 
sitting on the chair, something to think about as well, is toes pointed. This is not as cute as this, yes? So I don't know if you can see, but my toes are pointed. They're not like flat on the floor like you would be if you were standing. I've got my toes like pointed down. So I like to start here, and then we go five, six, seven, and extend. Yes, and I ease my booty towards the edge of the chair as I'm opening to almost where my booty is like hanging off the chair, okay? So one more time, five, six, seven, and extend. Yes, amazing job, my love. So that is our sit and split. All right, my loves, our next move is also sitting on the chair. So I'm coming to the corner edge of my chair. My hands are like pressed behind me and I wanna make sure that my legs are angled in a way that I'm not gonna hit the arm of the chair. We're going to do a kick, kick, and cross. Yes. So essentially we're kicking one leg up, the other leg up, and landing in this really cute crossed position, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm on an angle. I've got my hands propped up on the chair. I'm grabbing the chair as I lean back. This is a lot of core engagement. I'm kicking one foot, then the other foot. My knees, once again, are pulling together. So no space here. We wanna make sure our knees are pulling together. We kick, kick, and cross. And as we cross, because while we're here, we're a little bit concave, I wanna make sure that we're taking our head back and arching our spine at that last moment, that way you're really open and it looks really confident, okay? So we're here, we go five, six, seven, and we go kick, kick, cross. Yes, and the more that you can lean back here, the cuter your kicks look. Also, we're not trying to get our kicks like <laughs> straight up in the air. I really am going on a diagonal because that's all that's possible for me sitting in this position on a chair. If you're really flexible, then take your legs as high as they can go, but if you're more like me and they're on an angle, it still looks cute as long as the toes are pointed. None of this, this, okay? So we're here, five, six, seven, and we go kick, kick, cross. Yes, speed it up. Five, six, seven, and we go kick, kick, cross. Yes, so that is a very classic burlesque move, the kick and cross. Okay, babe, so we have one more move that we're going to learn today. So I want you to come to face the back of your chair, okay? So I know you've seen this move before, but if you have a chair that is not very stable, it's a very easy move to go toppling into the floor. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that we're really safe when we're doing this. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling myself towards the back of the chair. When I do that, <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost fell. When I do that, I'm arching my spine. So here's not arching my spine. I look like I'm just kind of chilling and also it's like almost tipping my chair over. I really wanna pull myself up. My knees are open and I'm on top of my toes. So like this is fine, but it's not as cute. If you're up on the tip of your toes, it looks really nice and the legs are open. From here, I'm just going to take a hair whip to the back, okay? So all we're doing is taking the hair around, around, around. Yes, so it's essentially just a hair whip but it looks really cute when you're facing the back. So we're here, we whip the hair, one, two, three, four, and just let it go. And I want you to take that hair all the way forward, all the way back, all the way around, yes? And my hands are kind of like this on the chair, just kind of crossed over. Yes, and it looks really nice when we have that posture. So let's do it two more times. We go five, six, seven, and around. Yes, good, one more time. Five, six, seven, and we go around, two, three, four. Yes, and you can do it quicker, or you can just really take your time with your hair whip. But the key is making sure your lines are really nice. Chair dance is all about having lines. So if my lines are kind of meh, 
then whatever I'm doing is not going to look good. And if I'm finding the chair instead of using it, it's not going to look good. So you want to make sure you're using everything about the chair to your advantage and also that your lines are still really long and pretty. And then when you whip that hair around, your whole body just looks like beautiful and sexy. Okay? Amazing job, my love. So that is all the moves that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a like below and make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way you never miss a class from Studio Silly Luna. And if you want to take your dancing to the next level, definitely check out my membership below. I have a seven day free trial offer for you. And it's a beautiful way to just try out these styles of dance to kind of build your technique from the ground up and start to feel really good and solid in your choreography classes. I recently had someone ask me, you know, how long does it take? What does it take to become a good dancer? And really taking these classes and putting in practice is the only way you're going to improve. So really starting to dedicate a practice, making sure you're taking time each week to yourself and to your body and to really nurture your dancing is how it's going to improve and grow. As always, make sure to tag me in your videos doing these moves, doing these choreography classes on my Instagram at AshlynTori at Studio Slowly Luna. I would love to see you slaying these moves and I would love to cheer you on as you are doing so. I love you babes to the moon and back and I will see you in the next class. I need a big fat